Hello students. Now in today's topic we are just going to discuss this five sessions that is modifying layout of a paragraph, managing headers, managing footers, managing styles and document template. And come on the slide modifying layout of a paragraph. Now as you have done in junior classes ki by using paragraph we can break continuous text to one or more sentences. Paragraph formatting gives us the option for adjusting line spacing and indentation. Now we can left align, right align, center and justify our paragraph. This is your simple paragraph in MS Word. Now I will go here in page layout. Page layout me I have this paragraph option. The paragraph option me you have here indent and spacing first of all. Indent and spacing me when you will click here on left right and you will give the inches over here just see the changes are coming over here so when you will just set your changes according to that your paragraph will be changed if your cursor is here again just do it change the alignments okay so it, it, it is changed again go in paragraph tab make use of the right margin okay the right margin is changed again go in paragraph tab first of all click here on the first one first line now go in the special tab special tab me you have this first line first line ko agar aap change karna click here see the difference automatically the words are shifted again if you want to make use of another option that is hanging click here on hanging hanging you can just write the inches jitne bhi aapne karne ho see your rest of the line they are shifted because you have made use of the different inches now again come in the paragraph option I'll just make use of Control Z undo option. Okay. Again, we are having a simple paragraph. Go in spacing now. Spacing may you have this certain options of line spacing. Line spacing may you have double line, 1.5 line at least exactly and multiple. Now let's say you want the spacing of double inches. So click here on double, see here it is adjusted, double line spacing is adjusted. Similarly, go on the other tab, tabs. When you will click this on tab option, you will get this tab stop position. Tab stop position me, you can just set the cursor according to your own way. Now let's say if you are writing here 2 inches, click on set, click OK. Now when you will shift your cursor, see here the changes. So this way you can make use of tab stop position. So let's move to the next slide. Next slide is managing headers. Now what are headers? When you are writing a document, आप सबसे ऊपर पहले हेडिंग देते हो, right? Now headers are text or images included at the top of the page. जो आप top of the page पे देते हो, they usually contain important information such as company or department name, logo, page number, name of the author, or anything etc. separated from the work or actual document area, right? Again, I am having a simple paragraph. I will go in insert tab. Insert tab me I have this header option. Header option I have clicked. Now let's say I want a blank layout. I will click on this blank layout. Now I can give the heading over here as I wish. Let's say I want to write here information technology. I'll make this bold. 
I'll just make use of center alignment. ठीक है. So I have given the header over here. If I double click here, see. Now this heading option it will be available on all the pages. Even when you press the second one page, you will get the same certain heading on the second page also. So this way you can make use of header option. Now under header option, again go in header option. Just see again header option. You have certain predefined options also. Let's say अगर आप ये कर रहे हो क्लिक, तो you will get this type of option. If you are making use of another one, you will get that type of the option. So accordingly, you can make use of the option, जो भी whatever you require, and then you can just make use of header option. Let's move to the next slide, managing footers. Now, what are footers? Footers are text or image included at the bottom of the page and may repeat in all pages of the document. Now, the procedure for creating a footer is similar. Now, MS Word may. Now, here I have this paragraph again over here. I'll click on footer option. Footer option may. Let's see. I if I just click here on the blank option, I'll just write the data over here according to my own way. Let's say I am writing here class tenth, and on one side I am writing page turn over right if i'll click here on footer double click see here the option is gone right now again see the last line of the page on each and every page you will get this footer option whenever you will click on the next page these are the predefined options of footers Whatever you just select, whatever option you'll select, you will get that thing, and you can just manage your footer according to that way. Let's come on the next slide. Next slide is about how to manage the styles. Whenever you're typing in Wordster in MS Word, how you have to manage the styles group that we are just going to see in this slide. Now, styles. What are these? Styles are predefined or customized options. Used for creating good-looking professional documents. Now there are many styles in word processor. We can also change the style in the style set and color the font also. Now, how will we get the styles? If you want to locate the styles on the word processor screen, first of all, you have to open a new word document in word processor. After opening. To view a list of style, you have to locate the style group under Home tab. Just see here, under Home tab, me we are having these type of styles. Now, different styles. Whenever you are having, you can just select any one style and you can set the font according to that. Now, whenever you are typing on the screen, the default style that is set on the screen is always Normal. So, if you just select this uh, any line, whatever you are typing, then the style will be changed. Otherwise, always it will be in normal condition. We have here different type of styles. अगर मैं यहाँ पर कुछ और select कर रही हूँ, it will be just changed. See here. So this way you can just change it according to your own work. You can just change it. So this is how you can manage the style set. Let's move to the next slide. Next slide is how to create a document template. Now, actually, what are templates? Templates or document templates? They refer to a sample fill-in-the-blank document that can help in saving the time. For example, let's say when you want to create a resume, okay? You just take a ready-made template, resume template, and you can modify only the sections that require changes. We'll just see now how to get this template over here on the screen. To open any type of template, you have to first of all create a empty word processor screen. You have to go in File, click on New. You will get this empty screen. 
So when you will create this empty screen, you will get certain options of template here. Now from here you can choose any one of it and you can make the certain changes. We will see this in Word also. Uh, let's go in Word. So when you will go in Word, see here, open new, re new document. When you will just click on create, you will get certain over options over here. So any one option you have to select. Let's say you are selecting here resumes and cover letters. See here, it will get open. Many type of resume forms are here. So let's say this one. See, the resume form is here on the screen. So just make a change over here and you can just get the ready-made resume from here. So this is how you can create the template. After making the changes, you can save your file and you can just work according to that. So this was all about for this session. Next part may will be doing the remaining part of the chapter. So thank you and happy learning till that time. So to get a recap of the previous topic, you can just click on the link shown on the screen.